Bonjour et bienvenue dans Brand Story, l'émission qui décrypte les marques personnelles inspirantes et euh, inspirées. Alors aujourd'hui, j'ai l'honneur de recevoir Ryan qui nous vient des États-Unis. Comme vous l'aurez compris, l'interview, elle sera en anglais. Euh, pour ceux qui ne comprennent pas, eh bien, lisez les sous-titres euh, ou alors passez à la suivante. Et pour ceux qui ne me connaissent pas encore, je suis Lola Cuvelier, cofondatrice de Personal Branding France et animatrice de cette émission. Hi everybody, I'm Lola Cuvelier from Personal Branding France and host of this show. This so-called brand stories. So we talk about the, the brand story inspiring and branded. So today I have the honor of interview Ryan from US. That it, Ryan? So yes, that's correct. Perfect. So welcome, Ryan. Can you tell me who you are and what uh, what you do today? Sure, sure. And I just want to thank Lola for having me on. This is a great program she has. You know, exposing people to brand stories and branding. So uh, my background is actually in biotechnology. I started out in research. Uh, then writing and training, and then became a, a, a product marketing manager. Um, and so uh, that's where we, I really started with uh, branding, branding for companies, basically. And then, uh, as I was telling Lola, a friend of mine developed a software service for helping uh, small businesses create and maintain their brand. And I really adapted uh, that um, uh, software service for personal branding. And I started giving workshops uh, on personal branding, authentic personal branding to Uh, job search organizations, for small business organizations, and also for uh, management uh, training. Um, and so, um, you know, we, we, we do all kinds of, of branding. Um, and, uh, and, and then I took uh, uh, many courses uh, on, on career coaching, executive career coaching, and I use that now uh, in the company that I work for, where we uh, provide a service for people who have been uh, let go from their companies and making a career transition and, and need to have their personal brand elevated uh, so they can promote themselves and create a demand uh, for their services uh, to, to companies for, for uh, obtaining another job. So that's what I do right now. Right. And what's your story what, what, and when, when you discovered the personal branding? Yeah. So, um, Yeah, personal branding is, is very important, as, as, as I mentioned, you know, uh, uh, as I started my own business, of, of course, uh, and started uh, uh, promoting myself, uh, my personal branding workshops, it's, it's very important to have, you know, a brand and create a unique brand for yourself. So my background is really um, in personal development. I, I really think that to have an authentic personal brand, it's it's you have to have a certain awareness, a self-awareness about yourself. What are your strengths? And if you put it in the context of all your experiences are, 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 are learning, it's, it's how you learn about yourself, learn about your strengths and learn about what you can contribute to the world, right? And how you can help people uh, uh, contribute in the world. Because you know, really my, my motto is I'm here to uh, find a mutual, Uh, satisfaction of, for people uh, to use their talents, their unique abilities to match with companies uh, and how they can contribute to companies and how you can match that organizational uh, goals with your own personal goals. So that's why I think branding is very important. And I really search to, to help people from the inside out. You understand yourself. You have self-awareness. You have emotional intelligence that you can use to promote yourself in your personal brand. And I, and I have a few metaphors that I use uh, that I can discuss in terms of personal branding um, that, that I, like I said, adapted from, from uh, different uh, software and also con conceptual um, uh, uh, philosophies that, that are used. And one of them is um, the, the concept of a tree, right? So if you think of your brand as a tree, let's say the roots of a tree could be what I call your personal IP, your personal intellectual property. All your skill set, your experiences, your relationships with other people in the community, with other branding uh, specialists, with other people in, 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 that you know. So uh, relationships that you have with, with, with uh, the assets that you have, um, 
um, you know, either physically or, or, or like I said, in relationships. So that's really your, the roots of your brand is all the intellectual, intellectual property that you have personally. And then as you go up the trunk of the tree, you might develop a competency statement, a vision statement, um, you know, uh, a mission statement, right? So you develop all those, all those um, uh, statements about yourself, positioning statements, right? And then you develop your, let's say, and I think it's very, it's very um, useful for, for brainstorming maybe your, what we, you would call your tagline, right? Your personal yeah. tagline. For, for me, it's like from the inside out. For, for other people, it could be other things. But to have a theme for yourself. Uh, and once you develop that theme, then you may develop, um, you know, uh, a tagline for yourself, as I mentioned, that you might put on your headline, maybe underneath your, your LinkedIn profile, things like that. And then you develop like a personal style for your brand. So, you know, whether it's a casual style, a formal style, an intellectual style, you have the style that you develop for yourself. And then from there, you have, let's say, your marquee offering as, 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 as just analogous to, to a company, a small business, a, a marquee offering, maybe, uh, you know, a, a lateral kind of offering, expanding your offerings, and then kind of a, what we call an upsell. You know, we can provide this for you, your, your branding, and then maybe... Uh, we can provide a one-stop service for your social media and all these things. So one of the metaphors is, is, is a tree, and that's what I, 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 I use uh, in my workshops to, to help people develop the personal brand. Right. And you, you, you talk about personal brands. For you, uh, can you describe your personal brands? Yeah, well, as I, as I mentioned, it's, it's really from the inside out, right? So uh, when I describe my brand, it's, as I get, again, a mutual uh, uh, satisfaction among people that are, are looking, let's say right now, it's really people looking for work uh, or, or making a career transition uh, to find that mutual, help them find that mutual satisfaction uh, between them and the companies or organizations they might want to work for. So, uh, and, and, I, and I say that it's, it's very important to me to have a, um, to have, you know, the motivations, the vision. Uh, and I, and I, actually my background, is, as I mentioned, is in biotechnology and life sciences. So I'm very scientifically oriented. So I'm, I'm very, uh, I, I like assessments. So I use assessments, whether you're, you know, I have a, a, a series of assessments that I use, life purpose, you know, different questions about life purpose uh, and motivation, interests, skills, so that people really, as I mentioned, develop a self-awareness about themselves. And, and that's what I found helped me the most is, is um, developing a philosophy uh, about, about uh, yourself and how you move in the world and how things work in the world, and so that you can really find uh, a really satisfying career path for yourself. So that's what I really use is, 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 is assessments. And once we go through the assessments, uh, as I mentioned, then, then we can f start working on a real personal brand, an authentic personal brand, uh, because, because that's what I think it really takes. Is It's not like a company where you can uh, develop some some story that's you know fictional like uh you know you have you're selling a a beverage and and there's these farmers on a on a on a on a, on a you know on a ranch and they're and they're, they're very folksy i mean that's all created by marketing right that's all fictional but for, i think for personal branding for ourselves it really has to be from from the heart from really from you expressing yourself to others and that's if you're authentic with others especially if you're looking for work uh, you're really trying to make a connection with others. Um, you know, uh, you're trying to find a connection. Uh, you're being of service, uh, and, and you have the skill set, and, and you you try to express that to people, and then and then you wait for them to to make have a response for that. So that's how I develop. You know, uh, uh, I recommend that people have confidence in what they what they do, especially in in interviewing, uh, to have confidence and be of service and offer themselves to to others. Um, and the other one is to really develop a philosophy about yourself, um, because many, many, when you're looking for work, uh, what are the what are the main things that people are looking for? Do you get along with others? Um, <clears throat> do you get along with others? Uh, do you, how do you handle conflict? 
uh, what's your management style or how do you like to be managed? So I, I, I recommend that people have a philosophy statement around these different issues. Um, and then you can, you can bring those up uh, when, when um, you know, you're asked in an interview about those things. So I, I kind of went off in different, different subjects and tangents, but hopefully I answered a little bit of your question there. Hmm. So can you resume your uh, singularity? Why, why people come f with you to, to, to be coached with you? Okay. Well, you know, I think I'm very efficient. In, in, in what I, I, you know, actually in my work, in, in, in my companies, I'm known as the go-to person for the very most difficult cases. Uh, diff though, though they transfer all the clients that are most difficult to me. Uh, because I think, as I mentioned, I have uh, over the years developed a, a certain self-awareness and emotional intelligence. And so I can really kind of, um, you know, perceive what the issues are, maybe the obstacles that people are facing very uniquely. Um, and I, so I think I really think that that's uh, my, my gift in terms of, of, of what I do um, is, is that kind of perception about what people need at the moment. You know, I'll see some, they'll, they'll describe their issues or what they're looking for and I can kind of really efficiently target you know, what, what they may need in terms of resources, in terms of information, in terms of guidance. So I think really that's my unique philosophy um, because I'll just, I'll just say, you know, even though it's a sec, what I do is very secular, that, that I'm a Buddhist, I come from a certain background, uh, understanding of the certain universal truths and the way things work in the world. I, I have a certain point of view about that. And so I bring that into my work and, and it allows me to have empathy for people, you know, a certain amount of compassion and also help them um, in the best way that I can. And I think I've, I've been very successful basically because, um, you know, I'm able to perceive people's issues and, and direct them in, in a very efficient and, and uh, you know, effective way. Great. And you speak about uh, motivation. Uh, for you, what's the, the keys for people who want to be more motivated, more, um, more motivated, I'm sorry for my English, no, more no. motivate, more, uh, more branded? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it really starts from inside, right? So to be motivated, you know, everybody talks about, you know, you want to be passionate about what you do, right? Um, so I believe in that, that you, you really want to be passionate about what you do, but you also want to be, you know, you know, filter that through business reality, right? So you're very passionate. Let's say you're very passionate about being an artist. You really, you really love being an artist. Uh, you know, you want to express yourself painter, being, paint, being a painter or maybe an actor or something like that. So I say, I say, that's great. If you want to be an actor, you want to be a painter, you want to be a creative in that way, that's great. So when we think about business reality, however, you have to think about what is the demand for your particular art form? And are you willing to um, live within the circumstances of uh, what you might, what kind of income you might uh, achieve by, by being an artist at, at the present moment, uh, you know, with your present marketing and things like that? Uh, being an artist, being a painter, being an actor, are you willing to live in those circumstances, income, financial, all of those different things? Um, because that's the reality if you want to pursue that art form, at least, you know, as it is right now. So I always say, you know, follow your passion, but be prepared to filter that through uh, business reality and what you might expect in terms of that. So to be motivated, you have to have that passion and also be a certain realism about the expectations that you're going to have uh, if you pursue this particular path. So I always like to say, you know, you should b balance all of that together. Um, and that will give you more motivation <laughs> to, to pursue any particular path when you understand the realities of, of what that path will, 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 will accomplish for you. So, you know, I, I believe, you know, motivation stems from that. Great. 
one of our tools for uh, know who, who we are and know our who is the our brand is the three and but a three hundred sixty. Yeah. Yeah, three sixty. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. And um, we, when we prepared this interview, we discussed that you 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 was the the moderator of a, a group on LinkedIn for of of that of the mm -hmm. three six one zero from a rich. Um, yeah. Can you tell us what the three six zero make change in in the life and why why this tool is very important to to be more motivation, more um, more branded, and more uh, more who you are. Yeah. So oh, I think what's really important about uh, 360 Reach and that kind of assessment in terms of personal branding is that, as I mentioned, you know, self awareness is very important uh, for when people pursue any any type of uh, of path, career path, um, and so it's important that you not only have a sense of who you are, your, your, all your experiences and how that has shaped you as a person, but you also get feedback from other people, right? To be, in order to be objective about your, your, who you are really, is, it's, it's, it's important to get feedback from others. So what's really important about uh, 360 Reach and what's very great about uh, the process is that you know, you, you send out, let's say, surveys or questionnaires to others around you, you know, whether it be uh, supervisors, coworkers, your friends, family, um, and, and, you, and get that feedback because it's very important to get different points of view uh, about who you are and how you project yourself, right? So, so it's very important to, to get feedback on, you know, because when we talk about branding, we're talking about perception. So, uh, when I talk to people about, you know, uh, they're looking for jobs stuff like, and things like that and networking, when you talk about networking, we're talking about how you are perceived by others you want to network with or how are you perceived by hiring managers or executives. Uh, so it's very important to know how you're perceived by others. I mean, you have uh, an idea about who you are, but how, how do others look at you? What do they think of you? So, of course, when we talk about uh, branding, we talk about perception gap, right? We talk about how you're perceived, how others perceive you, and how you can close the gap so that you, per you they perceive you as you want to be perceived, as you want to have them look at you. So it's very important to have the 360 reach uh, assessments and have the, all that feedback and have the report so that you can say, oh, you know, I thought I was like projecting myself as very com uh, confident in this particular area, this expertise. But I find out that, you know, these people, you know, my coworkers don't think of me that way. Think of me as some, uh, in some other way. Or my friends think of me in some other way. Maybe I'm expressing myself to my friends a little differently than I do to my coworkers. And maybe I should adjust that so that, you know, I'm expressing more of my authentic self uh, to my coworkers so they see me, um, you know, as a passionate person in this particular area. So that's why I think that the assessments are, you know, very, very important. Uh, 360 and, and other, uh, you know, uh, performance uh, feedback uh, that you might get. Uh, those types of assessments are very important. Right. And you speak about career coaching. Mm -hmm. For you, what's the difference between the, the and what's the similarity of branding and career coaching? Well, I, I think it's it's all interrelated so so what i what as i mentioned before when i start uh with a client uh i say we can start any any anywhere in the process that you want but for me uh a typical path would be as i mentioned um we start out with assessments what what are your goals and uh, before we think about strategy we talk about uh you know what are your goals so how do you figure out what are your goals are for the next step in your career Right, so I, I offer, as I mentioned, uh, life purpose assessments, value assessments. So, what are your values? What do you? What is your purpose in life? Your motivation, your your motivated skills. What do you like to do? What are you good at? Uh, your interests. What are you interested in? So, hopefully, people will want to take these different assessments uh, and get the results from those assessments before we go into actually branding. 
right? So once we figure out, get all the assessments uh, and the results from those and analyze those, uh, then we figure out what, what do you really want to do? What can you do? What you're interested in doing? And what, and what positions or career next steps in your career would be, would be a good fit for you uh, in terms of you know, positions, roles, uh, organizations, industry, things like that. So once we figure out those goals uh, in mind, then we start with the branding, mm. right? So we say you have your goals uh, that you want in terms of what the next step in your career. Maybe you want to start your own business. Maybe you want to work in a big company. Maybe you want to work in a startup. Maybe you want to, you know, uh, you know, those different types of uh, preferences. So once you have the goals, then we start with the branding. Then we say, okay, how do you project yourself, promote yourself, um, as I mentioned, to, to, to brand yourself so that you will attract uh, companies uh, or, or the, the circumstances that you want for your next career step. So the branding is part of, of the next, I think it's the, the next step. In, in the career career development process. So that means your LinkedIn profile, right? <clears throat> you create that profile in a way that projects yourself as an expert in this particular area, hmm. right? So that recruiters, hiring managers will come and see you or they'll get uh, notifications that, hey, this, you're looking for this type of person, here is the person for you. You join LinkedIn groups and you find out, uh, you, you join all these groups and then you, you post, you blog, you comment, so that people know in the industry that you're interested in that you are an expert or have an expertise in a particular unique niche that kind of might eliminate more of the competition because you're very unique, right? You have a skill set that not everybody has. Everybody is unique, right, with their experiences, their skills. Uh, and so you want to define that and balance that against the demand in the industry. So you want to demand for your services, but you have it unique so that, you know, not that many people are, 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 um, you know, uh, seeking the same type of position. So that's very important. LinkedIn, I think is extremely important uh, for, for branding and for, especially for people looking for their next opportunity. So, so, you know, it, you know, it, immersing the personal branding within the LinkedIn profile, I think is especially important. Yeah. So I just lost your audio. So I, I, can't, I can't hear you at all. I, I didn't hear anything of your last statement. So uh, maybe we can, we can take it up later. We can maybe we can do it again. The end of the, it's the being quite quietly, uh, the end of this interview. So um, where, where we can show you and what, it, what we can do with you or to be uh, more with you. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can go to elncoaching.com is my okay. website, and that's for my business. Uh, and then, of course, I'm on LinkedIn, so you can always uh, message me on LinkedIn. So that's how you that's how you contact me. Okay, so I write the the link on the uh, information bar, and um, so thank you very much for this time for all of this information. If you want to add more, uh, 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 the last word. That's your time. I'm I'm fine. I think you. I really appreciate the opportunity to to speak with you, and uh, it's been wonderful, uh, enjoyable, and so that's really I've I've really explained everything I I can. I hope I've helped others. Uh, you know that listen and watch your 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 program. So, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much too. Okay. All right. And, and thank you everybody to hear us. If you want to know more about personal branding, about branding, you can show them on uh, personalbranding.fr and on, yeah, uh, of course, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. So thank you very much and see you soon. All right.